Hi! Wow, this is it! This is the one. Welcome to Tampa 4x4. This is the electric cruiser. Electric cruiser, wow, it looks good. Yeah. So we have a, we have a Land Cruiser double cap, 79 series, uh, converted for, uh, for mining, and it's electric. So on the outside, you'll see the front and the rear uh, big bumpers, mm -hmm. standard, uh, and the wheels. And uh, here we have the, the rollover protection system. Yeah. Heavy duty and the um, uh, fall on protection system. So you won't be as safe anywhere as in this car. Yeah, fully mine spec. Exactly. What's that red box? Um, here we have the, the Fockmaker fire suppression system, uh, which takes care uh, as, uh, if there is a, a thermal runaway or uh, um, some kind of uh, uh, increase in temperature as a fire. Ah, okay. Uh, it makes sure that the uh, critical components are uh, the temperature of them is, is lowered as fast as possible. Okay. Okay. And with the Tiger Bay buggy whip, some heavy duty working lights. Looks good. Yeah. Looks mine ready. Exactly, mine ready. That's the way. Um, I can show you what's under the bonnet. Yeah. Because show I me. I think that's where you'll find the heart of the beast. Things. Yeah. So here we have ah. the orange box. Is a front battery box. Mm -hmm. We also have a rear battery box for better weight distribution. So it's 50-50 uh, front and rear. Okay. Um, and normally where the diesel engine would be um, is now a uh, front battery with uh, a number of components here such as uh, the EVCU. An actual motor, a 90 kilowatt electric motor, uh, is underneath, really in the heart of the engine, uh, heart of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, so the electric motor is um, uh, not connected to a gearbox, uh, but connected to a transfer phase, uh, which makes sure that it's always in four-wheel drive. So you're mm -hmm. always... Um, all four wheels have power. All right, all right. So the electric motor is in place where a gearbox it would be normally, right, with the diesel exactly, version. Exactly, where uh, about a normal gearbox would be. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a reduction box, which is uh, our own in-house development. It's a silent one-on-three reduction box. Okay. Uh, which makes sure that you have a, a good um, um, speed to uh, a torque ratio. Mm -hmm. So we have some uh, tempo standards here air conditioning, uh, power steering, we have uh, a high voltage, uh, high power heater uh, for, the, for the inside, for the interior. Mm -hmm. So we can make sure that the operator, the driver and the passengers are as comfortable as possible. All right, and how do you charge this thing? It's around here, around the rear. We have uh, the conventional charging port. Oh yeah, the Manicus. Exactly, the yeah, one that yeah. you see charging port. on the side of the road everywhere and the, the charging yeah, uh, ports. Basically standard for EVs. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So we can do uh, single phase charging and triple phase charging. Uh, and on triple phase charge we have uh, a two hour for uh, full uh, reload of the battery. So when oh, it's right. completely drained, we have two and hours. And what's the range then? Uh, it's about 80 kilometers. Okay. So depending on the aggressiveness of the, the driver, it can vary. But uh, if you don't step on it uh, like an animal, then uh, 80 kilometers is, uh, is an easy Yeah, way. it's plenty for the underground mine. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, can last a day with that. Yeah, yeah. and when you use regenerator braking, um, you can uh, regain a lot of... Uh, um, Energy back to uh, exactly. the battery pack. All yeah, exactly. oh, right, so when you go downhill, it actually recharges the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'd love to take it for a spin now. It's possible. Yeah? Let's get him. Let's go. All right. So the interior is like your standard Land Cruiser. Mm -hmm. um, but we do have some uh, some options. We uh, we modified the, uh, the dashboard uh, to make sure that you have an interface with all the um, important um, figures such as uh, uh, the power range, uh, kilometers an hour, uh, temperatures, mm. uh, but not too much to make it uh, unnecessarily complicated. Okay, and this is for the fail safe brakes? Exactly, so the OSCO brake, um, an option on this vehicle um, to make sure that uh, if anything happens, if anything would occur, then this is the way to stop the vehicle and it will, it will uh, be like uh, throwing out your anchor 
You've come to a dead stop in no time. <laughs> okay, okay. Very safe. Yeah. Good. Uh, well, let's start it. Like any other car, just crank it. All right. Now it's on. It's on. No sound. <laughs> exactly. We just uh, have the um, uh, cooling pumps, uh, which you can hear on the background. Mm -mm. Um, but for driving, we have uh, the drive, neutral and reverse uh, buttons. Mm -hmm. um, they're mechan mechanically locked out, so you always have to go through neutral in order to, uh, to change gear. Reverse. Yeah. And then uh, the Oscar brake is just uh, spin it. And release it. Release it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. So neutral. Yeah. Drive. Exactly. Just hit the throttle. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that's smooth. <laughs> that is good. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> and no, no squealing, no nothing. No, we have uh, no sound. It's very stable, um, and there's uh, minimal play in the drivetrain. Um, partly beca because we use the uh, Toyota transfer case, mm -hmm. so it's decent components that we uh, that we keep. And the dirty stuff that we get out. It just eases away. Exactly. And you can feel the power. Yeah. So it's really one pedal drive. And then you let go of the, as soon as the you throttle, release. it breaks. Yeah. Yeah. You will feel the regenerator braking. Oh, that's a regenerator. Yeah. And yeah. you can also see on the, the left figure. Oh, on that one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. How much it's uh, regenerating. In the green. Yeah. Exactly. Where should I go? Yeah. Um, I think we can go to the right. We have some ad uh, adventurous uh, roads there. Ah, cool. Adventurous roads in the Netherlands. Exactly. <laughs> uh, we don't have the hills like uh, Switzerland, but... Alright, to the right. Yes, you're good. So don't be gentle on it. Don't be gentle. Don't be gentle. Alright. <laughs> it's ready for mining, so this should be a piece oh. of cake. A little bit gentle with a uh, <laughs> cyclist there. Yeah. So it's still good weather out. That's uh, that's very nice for a test drive. It always helps. Yeah. Lovely day. Yeah. This. Ah, uh, this car, is the adventure. This is where <laughs> the fun starts. <laughs> so this car has a, a special coating on the bottom uh, to make sure that uh, um, impacts of uh, stones uh, or rocks flying into it is uh, reduced, and also the ingress of uh, um, of dirt and, and water is reduced. Mm -hmm. So you can just drive it through puddles or uh, as long as the wheels will hit the floor uh, you can still uh, drive through a lake. This is like a mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting close to it. And in terms of noise, you right now you only hear tires. Yeah, you hear the tires, but that's all. Exactly. Uh, regenerate the braking. Yeah. Just straight ahead. Yeah, we can go uh, more keep adventure. adventuring. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And here, I think you can floor it. All right, let's do that. Let's try that. <laughs> if you have uh, the nerves for it. All right, that's some good speed. Exactly. Seventy kilometers an hour. <laughs> Seventy-five. Yeah, you're not afraid. Oh, I see. <laughs> let's go. Very good. <laughs> wow, that's fun. And so here, typically, when you're driving here in a diesel car and you get looks from uh, cyclists and people walking around but right now you're silently, silently approaching them like a predator like a predator <laughs> <laughs> but everyone likes it it's uh i mean it's a flashy car from the outside yeah it's a, it's big, a clean car really big car yeah four by four but no noise <laughs> exactly it drives so smooth it's amazing just easing on the throttle <laughs> Careful with the cyclists, maybe a bit. <laughs> <laughs> they look adventurous enough. Ah, they like it. Yeah. Let's hit it again. <laughs> On the left gauge, it says. Uh, yeah, the power that you're using. So uh, it was at uh, 40 to 60 kilowatts. And when you're regenerating, it's really going to. Oh, uh, minus 60, I saw. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I don't. That wasn't, I think, full uh, full brake, was it? No, not not completely. Uh, so. And that's, that's how much you're regaining, so as much as you're using uh, when you're accelerating, decelerating, you get it right back. Yeah. It, I mean, it's not 100%, that's, an, uh, that's idealistic, but you will gain a lot from back. 
now I use 100, so that go completely, yeah. regain almost 70. And that's what we notice. Um, when you floor it continuously, then you will get a, a reduced uh, range. Uh, here we can go uh, with the road to the left. All right. But when you when you just use it normally, then 80 kilometers is no problem. And this has the, the big off-road tires on it, so it's it's really uh, taking up a lot of energy to uh, to get the wheel spinning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here to the left is uh, all right. Best. Ooh, it's busy today. Yeah, it's this is a busy road. This is from Holland to Belgium. This road. I think you're good to go. We're good to go. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So now we see what we Let's hit it full we throttle. Can, we can get using 170 kilowatts. And already driving 82, 85 kilometers an hour. Yeah. yeah. So we can just tag along with all the other uh, road users. Um, off road, on road. It's uh, it's a versatile machine. 85 is the maximum. Yeah, it's, it's now maximum. Uh, so we're continuously in, in development uh, and we get uh, questions from customers uh, saying we want uh, a bigger range, we want higher speeds, and I've, of course everything is a trade off. Um, uh, anyway, we're, uh, you can just set it by setting the computer, the software. Yeah, so, so speeds are, are uh, configurable. Um, but right now for this, uh, for this machine, 85 is, uh, is maximum. We see in mining is that uh, 35 kilometers an hour is already max uh, for uh, inside the mine. Some regenerative braking again. Yeah. Comes to a full stop? Not a full stop. So it will. Um, Almost. Uh, exactly. Like, like this. Yeah. Yeah. Then I hit the throttle. And I'll and I mean, with, Yeah, without using your brakes, that's something that we uh, we get back uh, from customers as feedback. As feedback. Um, we don't have to change the brake pads. We don't have to uh, oh, yeah, make repairs or, or uh, um, have it in the service station as often as uh, as the diesel counterpart. Yeah, that saves a lot of maintenance on the brakes. Yeah, so we have a uh, minimal amount of uh, moving parts, minimal wear, and that's the biggest one. And there's no gearbox here, so yeah, no yeah. clutch. Yeah, no yeah. noises. Very and good. also what we have is, um, because Electric drive is, is much more, uh, yeah, we can go left and then we go back to the yeah, to the workshop. Just the loop, yeah. Um, because this uh, drivetrain is much more efficient, we don't lose energy in heat um, and, and, and noises. So for ventilation costs in the mine, um, for the driving comfort and, and the comfort in and around the, the car, it's so much better. Yeah, the ventilation costs are a big, big topic in the mine. Exactly, yeah. And, and for health, it's also, you have zero emission, so what more do you want? Wow, well, I'm impressed by the performance. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah, it's good. It's just so easy to drive. It's, uh, it's a tiger in uh, sheepskin. Just go around. Yeah, we can car. go around. There's no bicycle. We can do a big 4x4. Four four. <laughs> it was a little bit <laughs> off-road. Still within the boundaries of the machine. It's also nice that you get looked at from... Uh, from everyone. From, from <laughs> the people around. They expect to hear roaring noises. Big V8 engines. Yeah. <laughs> what is that machine? What have they done to it? <laughs> Well, they replaced the heart. <laughs> exactly. It's a clean heart. So you like driving it? Yeah, it's so easy, so comfortable. It's yeah. just like natural. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what we want. We want people to, to get into it, initially be amazed on, on the performance and how it drives, and then just use it as an everyday Left. As a tool, yeah, yeah. Here we are. At first, you think, oh, the regenerative braking and one pedal driving, how it's called, I believe, mm -hmm. just exactly. loosening the, the throttle. Yeah, we'll be getting used to, but now it's just like second nature already. Exactly. You're in it for five minutes and just park it here. Yeah, I feel at home. All right.
All right, thank you. Very good. A neutral, a neutral and then the safe brakes on, the fill safe. All right. And that was that was it.